Ahoy training campers! In this simulation module, you will learn how to operate a water tube boiler plant simulator from stop condition to auto running mode. The simulated steam plant system here is intended to produce steam used in the turbo generator turbine, cargo pump turbines, and in the ship's technical and domestic heaters as a heating agent. The system can generate wet or saturated steam and superheated or dry steam the wet steam consumers are used in the technical and domestic heaters on board ships whereas the superheated steam is used for driving the turbo generator and cargo pump turbines the auxiliary boiler exhaust gases are also used in the inert gas system in the given figure shows a functional diagram of the water tube boiler plant the following components are included in the system and modeled in the simulator. A system of pipelines as a hydro and gas dynamic object. A steam generator, which is the steam and water tube boiler as a hydro and gas dynamic object. A heat recovery steam boiler as a hydro and gas dynamic object. A condensate catch tank. Electrically driven feed pumps number 1 and 2 of the auxiliary boiler. Circulating pumps number 1 and 2 of the heat recovery boiler. Condenser. A valve for the control of the cooling water flow through the condenser. Stop valves for the main steam and valves for the delivery of steam to the consumers. And a condensate collect tank makeup valve. On the right-hand part of the screen page contains the system control panel. The control panel contains the following groups. Auxiliary boiler steam pressure control group for the control of the auxiliary boiler steam pressure. Auxiliary boiler group. This is for the control of the auxiliary boiler feed pumps and boiler valves. Heat recovery boiler group for the control of the steam pressure and circulation pumps of the heat recovery boiler. We have the main condenser control group and lastly the consumer groups for the control valves distributing steam among consumers. Heading over to the boiler fuel system page, this system is designed for supplying fuel to the boiler burners. The system allows the burners to use heavy fuel oil or diesel oil for operation. The fuel circulation in the system is provided with two electrically driven pumps, one in operation, the other on standby. The fuel is fed to the burners, which is under certain pressure, under temperature, which ensures the fuel viscosity of 10 to 15 centistokes required for adequate fuel atomizing by the burners. And through the filter which guarantees separation of solid particles of more than 50 microns to prevent the burner clogging. In addition to the fuel preparation and supply to the burners, the system ensures continuous fuel circulation. This allows the system readiness for operation on the heavy fuel oil to be maintained regardless of the boiler operating mode. To reduce the heavy fuel oil viscosity, it is subjected to heating. First, preliminary, which is in the heavy fuel oil service tanks and pipelines, which is the satellite steam line. And finally, in the fuel oil heater where the fuel is being heated. The fuel oil heating temperature may be as high as 140 degrees Celsius. To avoid fuel boiling up, which is vapor and foam formation, the system maintains an operating pressure of up to 7 bars. On the right hand part of the screen, we have the control panel which is divided into 3 groups. First, we have the fuel pumps, filters, and valves control group. Second, fuel oil heater control group which is the fuel oil temperature automatic controller. And lastly, the fuel oil tanks and pipelines handling group. And now, let us try to operate and put into service the water tube boiler plant simulator. 
To facilitate quick familiarization, I will use the Transas Team Plan Simulator. So, let's start the simulation exercise. We first acknowledge all boiler alarms on the alarm station page. On the steam plant page, close first the deaerating valve to prevent steam from escaping from the boiler drum. Next is, turn on the fan to pre-purge all flammable gases inside the boiler furnace. Proceed to the BFS page, we prepared the boiler fuel system prior to operation of the boiler burners. Set the fuel selector switch to DO or diesel oil for burner fuel consumption. We now line up the fuel system by opening the preheater and the steam inlet valves. Adjust the fuel feed pressure set point to 5 bars and open the burner number 1 and number 2 stop valves. After which, turn on feed pump number 1 and set it to auto running mode. If the pressure readings are normal, go back to the SP page and manually fire or turn on burners number one and number two. If any alarms occur, just acknowledge it. We have a low fuel temp alarm, which means no steam is present in the fuel preheater and we have a cold diesel circulating in the system. To rectify the fuel temp alarm, first set the steam pressure control to auto steam production. After that, Open the steam stop valve and consumer heating valves of the FO tank, FO tank heating, as well as the separator. Heading back to the BFS page, the fuel temp alarm has been cancelled out, but we need to set the fuel heater system controller to auto to maintain the boiler fuel temperature at 120 degrees centigrade. Now, let's change over the selector switch to heavy fuel oil burner consumption, then open 10% the heating to the heavy fuel oil tank including the tracing steam lines to maintain good fuel viscosity to the burners. Checking the steam pressure on the boiler drum, which is still at low pressure, we need to start auxiliary boiler feed pump number 1 and set it to auto mode to prevent low water alarms as well as prevent internal water tube damage. Next, open the superheater stop valve for the auxiliary boiler and heat recovery boiler for production of superheated steam for the turbines of the cargo pumps and turbo generator. Do not forget to start the circulating pump number 1 and set it to auto running mode for the heat recovery boiler. In most cases, the boiler produces excess steam, 
To recycle the unused steam, open the condenser return valve to recycle the excess steam not used by the boiler in which the steam is converted back into water then stored in the condensing tank and then again delivered back to the boiler via the feed pumps. We then replenish the condensate tank by opening the tank makeup valve. Open the condenser flow control valve and maintain the tank level to at least 80% capacity. Here we increase the boiler fuel feed pump pressure setting to 7 bars to fast track steam pressure production on the boiler. The normal operating pressure of the auxiliary boiler must be above 10 bars to a maximum of 18 bars for the low pressure steam alarm to be cancelled out or rectified. For now, just conduct boiler watchkeeping. All pressure, temperature, including tank levels, must be maintained at the normal operating limits. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, do check out my other simulator tutorial videos at the end of this screen. And that's the end of this simulation exercise on how to operate a water tube boiler plant simulator from stop condition going to normal running mode. Thank you campers for watching this video.